You know who doesn't mind the cold and snow? These elk hanging out on Lookout Mountain. In fact, they look pretty content there. Stan Bush, also out in the elements. Stan, it's not quite as enjoyable for us humans. It's not enjoyable at all. This is that bitter cold that cuts through your clothes. And if you did what I did today, which was pick the wrong gloves, then you are really paying for it. We're live tonight at Union Station where crews have been working around the clock to keep the snow clear here. What we've basically been seeing is these guys going around in circles. As soon as they get some of the sidewalk cleared off, they start right back again because the snow has been that persistent. Now, it was not a work day today, but we did see some people who are commuting from here from the trains. They were pretty surprised when they brought those rolling bags off the trains and had to cart those through several inches of snow. One traveler we talked to just arrived from Denver from the Olympics in South Korea. She said as soon as she got off the plane, she wished she could get right back on it and go to the other side of the world. It's snowing a lot more here. It's windier here. Um, I'm just overall colder here. <laughs> Do you ever get used to something like this? Oh, no. I've been in Colorado most of my life, and it, the yo-yo effect is, I mean, I love the warm and hate the cold. Does this stuff keep you warm, or are you pretty cold? It keeps the snow out. I don't <laughs> So today, people just get to hate the weather. Uh, maybe they'll get to hate the weather tomorrow, too. But the people we did talk to say that when you deal with this, is this just the trade-off that you get for living in Colorado. We're live tonight at Union Station. Stan Bush covering Colorado First.